Okay, okay. Today I'm gonna introduce you some of the swim baits that um, around in the market, and uh, some of these are really really expensive. Uh, I actually beat them, some of them, and some of them I got my friends to get it for me. So I'm gonna go through with you so that you have a better idea what are some of the expensive swim baits around in the market and some of the cheaper ones. Uh, just here to share my collection today. So uh, let's start. Let's go. Okay, let's start with uh, the cheaper ones that I have, which is this uh, BT Scrapper from Shimano. Okay, I think this is this is quite cheap. I think I paid like sixty dollars or something for this. Okay, uh, it has a nice rubber tail. Might a bit koya idea. Then uh, you can adjust the sink rate with a uh, weight given over here. Okay, quite a nice gliding. Okay, the swim baits don't don't just swim don't don't swim like this. Okay, they swim like this in an S shape. Okay, very, very hard to explain to you. It's just a gliding action. So this is the one that I think is not too bad. Okay, anyway, I don't I didn't get all these things from Singapore, so I don't know where you can get them. And uh, I don't sell them. Uh, some of my regular customers uh, or some of my kakis, I uh, help them to buy from Japan. Help get my friends to send it to me. I don't sell them, okay. So just, just a reminder. Okay, then uh, the normal brands that we have are like the Guncraft. So just to share a bit about the Guncraft, right? Is that um, the Guncraft comes in like slow sing, sing, and I think floating, something like that. Okay, the thing about the Guncraft is um. I normally go for the floating ones. The reason is because I want to get a slow sink or a suspending action and I always upgrade my hooks to a heavier hooks. So when I buy the floating one, I upgrade the hooks, right? It will tend to be suspending or slow sink. So I get better actions from there. This is the big one that I really like. Okay, okay. I think that the best action, right? I, I know this is, I think it's like a 240 or, or something. But I like this and the 170 action, I think. This one is the 128 or 148, I'm not too sure, but this one, the small ones, the action is really not that good. I don't really like the small ones. This is 148, I don't really like the small ones. I think the better ones are the 178 and the 200 and... Uh, I don't have the the size for this. Yeah, but this is a collaboration with Ames. La. I, I got this because I really like this color a lot. So I think the Guncraft, they are cheaper. They are like maybe 50, 60, 80 dollars. The bigger they are, they are the more expensive ones, okay? I'll share those that is like more affordable but also some of them really hard to get when it comes to colors even in Japan then um, the next one will be the depths so I have the depths uh, the thing about this is this is a, like a rubber body but a hard body see this rubber okay but inside is hard but this is floating uh, also this one I, I like the action but it's a bit hard to tune to suspending because when I stick the weights and everything uh, on the rubber body right it tend to drop off easily yeah so this is one of the depths that i have then um this is another one i call it the i think it's called the bull shooter or something this one the the action is really nice i don't know why is there a beep here can you is it you can add a beep i'm not too sure because there's this model that has a beep but i don't really like those models that has a beep because i do more gliding than cranking so bull shooter very very nice action look like real tilapia uh, this is the kind of metal weights that I add to make it suspending or make it sinking Because I buy floating one, so I add like heavier hooks and I add some I adjust the weight using this I'll get a suspending action which is really 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 good You know, I love it a lot I think when and I work uh, all these swim baits very slowly so when it glide I'll stop I pause So when you pause right, that's where you get the bite on the next twitch or at the pause Okay, I managed to get this second hand. This is the light rail from Attic. This is like a handmade one. Uh, not bad. Quite a good action. Uh, it's hard. Really hard. Even all these fins that you see, these are all hard. Mm, don't really uh, like the action so much, you know. Uh, because I use others. Okay, so the, the thing is, I'm not a full collector. I collect them. Some I use, some I don't. Some I really like it. Then I'll collect one and I'll use one. Okay, this one was also quite expensive. Okay, the depths one, I think you can find it easier. Maybe, you know, you can find it easier at those uh, Japan uh, bus shops that is near Lake Biwa. Okay, uh, outside of Lake Biwa, like Tokyo, you don't really get them. 
I've I've gone around many many uh, shops in Shibuya, Kiyabara, Tokyo, Osaka. You don't really get depths in the in the shops, but you get it at the shops near Biwa Lake. So anyway, this is the light rail attic. Mm, I think this is also quite expensive. Maybe about eighty ninety dollars. The depths are also around there. Around that price, I'm not too sure if, if it's, it's, good. it's like even more expensive, about $60, $70 around there. Okay, then the next one that is also not that expensive, I think it costs about $90 around there, is actually the Nikko Soji. So Nikko Soji from Plate Lab, right, is, uh, is, is quite a new bit, la. I think maybe 2 3 years in the market. Okay, they have like different kind of bits. This is the shortest bit, this is for the very tight action and the slow crank. Uh, for the Nikko Soji, they are a bit different, they all come with beeps, okay? And I like them because even if they come with beeps, right, you twitch them, they still do a very nice water dog action in the water. And I really like this very sexy tail. I got them tat and I burn it and I burn it and I managed to like put it back again. So I really like this action. Okay, then um, this is the Nikko Soji Gyu, okay, which... I think so so la. I don't really like the, the profile. Actually, I don't really use so much of the of the this uh bit thing so that's the that's the problem i prefer the gliding part but the nico soji which is the xxx this one that i have do very well i catch a lot of big fish on it okay so then uh for i think it's called tulala or something or jack slow they have this lure uh or bombada i think under their brand called bombada I forget what's the name, but this is the one that I have. Um, this is about eighty ninety dollars, okay. And uh, this one, the the beep can remove one, but this one the action a bit more complicated. It's not like gliding action. It's more of the very slow on the bottom. Then you can change the weight to get different kind of actions. I don't really know fully about this. I don't really like it so much, frankly speaking. But the the shape and the eyes is damn sexy. You see the eyes. Okay, so now I'm going to share one that I really like, but it's also not easy to get. I spent like close to about, I think 150 to 200 dollars. Actually, I cannot remember the price because there's no fixed retail. Some of the lures are so rare that I actually paid uh, auction price or my friend bid it for me or my friend got it for me at an expensive price, you know, because I just want that particular color. So this is the first one that I got, which is I got it at a second hand, which is very nice. Okay, anyway, this is the Element Da Vinci. Da Vinci Element. The brand is called Element. The look is called Da Vinci. It doesn't come with this big tail. This is a modified tail. It comes with a very small tail. You can hook it front or hook it on top as a vibe or as a swim bait. This is floating, okay? That's why we add a lot of weights to make it suspending. And uh, it works very well with the big tail, okay? So after I like this lure, right, I bought one for collection inside the box, inside the, the glass inside. Then I got this because this is really a very sexy color. So I paid a lot more for this color. Then same thing you can see that we added this uh, metal thing to control the weight to make the the control the depth that I like. Then also you see the front eyelet this is a swim bait. This is for vibes. But anyway this is floating, okay? I really love this big tail. The big tail works lah. Basically the big tail the the small tail don't really work that nicely. This is just my personal opinion. So just now I was telling you about the Nikko Soji, right? So just a fast introduction. You see these two are all Nikko Soji, but the bibs are different. So there's different model. This is a DSR, which is uh, going uh, deeper. This is XXX, which is more shallow. Okay, then recently there's this lure that... Uh, okay, if you realize why most of my lures, right, they are, they are within the 120, 140 grams, I won't get anything too heavy because some lures, they are 200 gram, 500 gram, 300 gram. They're too big for me to cast. The reason is because I don't buy them for collection, just for collection. I also use them for fishing. So I only go for those lures that I can cast. So this is the Ra Kaizu Rakiri or something. Okay, this is a white fang. I really like this color, very sexy. Okay, this one, this lure is very special. This lure, right, comes with this rubber thing here which you can actually remove so when I remove right this rubber there's actually a uh, balls of a uh, pallet inside that I can use it to control the sink rate so 
you can see the number of balls inside so they give you metal balls and plastic balls to control the sink rate but I still prefer it to be 4 balls la. That, that's the perfect sink rate I like so this is the Rakiri Kazu. this one you still can get it it's still quite easy later I'll share with you what you can get and what is harder to get and what is the price this one is also about 150-200 dollars around there okay the next one I'm going to share is one of the most expensive swim baits that uh, okay, I don't I don't have like Roman make and all this thing. I don't really like them and they're really very really too big for my usage. So I'm going to share this brand called the DRT, which is the Division Rebel Tigers. Okay, this is the DRT Joker. Okay, I have a few of these. I really like this. Top water. Uh, very, very loud. Very, very noisy. Very, very sexy. To me, it looks like a... I always call it the Fei Xiong Yu Ping. Uh. It looks like the, the fish cake. Very fat. Okay, I really like this. Okay, even though I don't catch any fish on them, I still cast them. This is about 100 over grams. Then the next one that is also very expensive, which we paid about 200, 250, I think at, at least 250 lah, around 250, is this tiny cash. So this is the tiny cash uh, 66. This is the, I think it's uh, called the high, low float. Uh, low float. I don't get the high float because there's two more. The one floats a lot. Okay, this bit is very, very special. You can remove the bit. Okay, so like I told you, I don't I don't use bit so much. So this is the bit. Okay, I remove the bit. Okay, then I use it into gliding. Then you can change the tail to, the, to, to flip it. Once you flip it, all the action is different. So one lure, you get like three or four actions. Okay, um, don't ask me, I, I wouldn't just specifically talk about this lure because it takes very long to explain what is the action to do this and do that. But this is a tiny cache that is very very nice. So I I got this two which is my favorite color and they are all I think high float lah. Because I don't like low float or something. I don't know is it low float or high float. I need to check what I bought. But there's this model that, that is perfectly good. Because I know there's one model that... Um, floats too much or something or floats too little so i i normally get the floating ones that don't float so much so that i can actually add the weight and i add the hooks it becomes suspending so i caught really good pickup bars on this too the tiny cash is the one of the most sexy action and you can tune it 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 really takes just a tiny twitch you will just turn uh the gun craft right the action is too tight it doesn't glide so nicely only the 178 glides better the 14 is really bad um the depths are also okay but the depth buoyancy is very high even you have to add a lot of weights for it to go down lower the, the element has a totally different action so you cannot compare it to a glide bait as in to a swim bait the rikiri kazu is worth to try but it's very very big but it's not that heavy it's only about 100 grams so the rikiri kazu is also very nice and uh, actually rikiri kazu is the one that you can get it readily la now if you're looking for it rikiri kazu is the one that still got stock and easy to find I think it's the low, low, low float because eh, this is the cash knife. Okay, this is a very expensive one. This is the, I don't know how much I paid for this. I think close to about 300 plus. I, I really forgot lah because some I get my friend to beat because I like the Pacific color. So I pay a lot more for it. Anyway, all this, they don't retail it for very cheap. So uh, you can watch another episode that I'm going to share with you how they work. Basically, these are like the Rolex of the fishing world. So even though you got money, it's very hard to find them because there's limited stock. So this is cash knife compared to the smaller cash. That's the tiny cash and the cash knife. That's the that's the difference. Okay, I put it together already. It's not front and back. Ah, it's together. Ah, you see. Okay, but I can see the the size difference. Okay, this is, this is definitely about 120, 140 grams around there. Okay, very very nice action. I love these baits. Okay, so uh, the latest one that I am playing with is this rubber swim bait this is very nice but they're also quite pricey every piece we pay about 30 to 40 dollars for it and uh the good thing is is 33 gram not too heavy so normal tackles you still can play them then um the treble right is embedded okay i'm going to open this for you especially for you guys okay the treble is embedded in the in the lure so this is about half half uh Weedless because you can see that the treble is embedded in the lure so once you hook it right the thing will come out and it's connected to the shiver with an eyelet so the eyelet so it doesn't tear the rubber so easily this one even when you slow crank it right it will swim in an S shape very very nice you fast crank it will also sink then from the S here if you if you pull out right there's a weight inside you can actually pull it out then you will um, adjust the sink rate of the rubber but uh, I think the original ones that they give the sink rate is, is what I want. It doesn't sink too fast. Um, sink slowly. When I crank it, it come out. You know. 
So I'm a bit of the Kiasi user lah because I really scared to snack them and lose like few hundred dollars. So I use thicker leaders, thicker mainline, and I don't play them deep. I play them just right above, just right below the surface, a bit deeper. Uh, I play them coming up. I don't actually drag them at the bottom because I don't want to snack this expensive stuff. So um, basically, these are the few swim baits that you can get in the market. Okay, so like I share with you, I think the Shimano ones are the easiest to get. The Guncraft also readily available. Just that you want to get the colors and the floating and sinking is a bit hard. The Attic Light Rail you can get it from their website, but it's always sold out and it's really expensive on the website. I think it's about seven thousand yen or something. Uh, the depth is hard to get, but easy to get in Japan B1 Lake shops. The Element Da Vinci is hard to get, okay? So, these guys, you gotta beat them from the Japanese website. The Bombarda one is cheap. Cheap as in like $50. Easy to get also. The Nikko Soji also you can get it. Okay, the special thing about the Nikko Soji is when you visit the, shim the shops in Shibuya, in Tokyo, in Osaka, some of the shops actually have Nikko Soji, so you gotta go and look out for them. So for now, you still can find Nikko Soji in Japan. Uh, they are about $100, plus minus. Then the DRTs are the one that is very, very expensive and people go crazy about them. I'll do one episode on DRT to explain uh, what is it like. DRT is like the supreme, the Rolex of the fishing world. So DRT, you really gotta beat them. You really gotta go on the auction site and beat them. Uh, I, I really don't know how you can buy it in shops. We tried visiting all the Biwa Lake shops. You will never get them. Yeah. So, um, that's it. Normally, we will try with these few brands. Uh, I don't go for those more common brands because um, I go for more special, ready, special, harder to get stuff. Because some of the lowest, right? Okay, the, the swim bait community is very weird in Japan. Like, those normal brands, I uh, can get it very easily in Japan one. But if you want, look at those like Debs, uh, DRT, uh, Element Da Vinci, uh, Plate Lab, Nikko Soji, Kazu, Rakiri, all these are like the more popular models that's really, really hard to get. The other brands, right, they are very easy to get in Japan. So, so I don't play with them so much. I think even in Singapore Tiger Shop, you can find them. So, if you're looking to... Uh, I'm not saying that they are good or no good, it's just that this is like a trend, you know, it's like a, it's like underground hype beast thing, okay. So basically, um, I really love them because I like to catch big big of us and I like to work with swim baits. It's just a, a personal preference, okay, even though I don't hit fish, right, I try to uh, excellent their glides and everything. So recently, DRT came out with this tool, uh, this is the VS, really big. And then, uh, I don't know what they call, okay, but this is also an NRDRD rubber. I haven't really tried them. Uh, I'm, I've been trying to find like uh, big weedless heavy hooks that I can cast far, but weedless, so I found some. So I'm going to try on on the rubbers and see if I catch anything. So that's all for this episode and I uh, hope you enjoy watching it. And uh, if you need any help or you got any questions about the swim baits over here, just uh, leave us a comment. Hit the subscribe button if you like our channel, then uh, help us like our video and share our video. So on the next episode, or the next next episode, I will share more on DRT, then share you some of our collection and why is it priced so high in the market. Okay, bye-bye.